On July 1st, 1863, these unlikely heroes found themselves the lone obstacle to a sneak attack on Washington. I'm Wendy Jo Cohen, and I did a film called The Battle of Pussy Willow Creek, which is a fictional documentary about a very little-known Civil War battle, uh, which was uh, won by a um, gay opium-addicted colonel, a 70-year-old Chinese immigrant, a nerdy escaped slave, and a one-eyed, one-armed teenaged prostitute. Uh, and these people actually uh, saved the Union. But though arguably the greatest heroes of the war, by the close of the 19th century, these maverick soldiers, and even the name of their fabulous battle, had been all but forgotten. Um, their battle took place at the same time as Gettysburg and no one's heard about it because it was covered up at the time as being too embarrassing for both the Union and the Confederacy. Uh, so they worked together to cover up the whole story. Some people would probably say that my film is a mockumentary, but I think of it more as a fictional documentary, which is that it's a documentary about a fictional incident. Uh, I used documentary techniques, same as Ken Burns' Civil War movie. Um, my movie is about people who maybe didn't exist, but I'm sure there are people exactly like them that did exist. So I feel like I am telling the story of American history that has been uh, heretofore kept down, uh, covered up, and um, it's, we're trying to open things up to people, possibilities of our American history. The ridiculous notion that someone can be turned gay has been disproved time and again. He had recently become convinced that he had been chasing the wrong fate. Well, many people are misinformed about the sex trade. It's really no wonder that he made such a lousy slave. I'm Wendy Jo Cohen, the writer, director, producer, and editor of The Battle of Pussy Willow Creek, and you are watching The Film Fix. Tonight, tonight, is her even near me. Every day, folks walk across that hallowed ground and don't even know it.